The Louisville man accused of trying to kill a mayoral candidate looked online for at least three other candidates in that same race. That is new tonight as a federal judge unsealed 800 pages of Quintez Brown's web history. The idea is to get more effect from the bullet itself. So we're going to give that a shot. Court records say Quintez Brown looked at this YouTube video the day before. He tried to kill Louisville mayoral candidate Craig Greenberg. Also searching for what happens if you load bullets backwards for guns and how to buy one at a pawn shop. February 14th, police say he used that information, shooting up Greenberg's Butchertown headquarters. The candidate escaped with a rip in his shirt. No one was hurt. Brown now charged in both state and federal court. The new records also reveal searches for Greenberg's address, his kids, and many visits to his social media pages. Federal prosecutors laid it all out in an attempt to keep Brown locked up without bond. That decision still pending. Somebody that has committed a serious crime uh, that is a threat, we need to keep them incarcerated until which time they are, they are uh, set free by the courts. Thursday, we learned Bill Duriff is also in these web records, a Republican candidate in the Louisville mayor's race and the current leader in Jefferson Town. On the same day of the shooting at Greenberg's office, a search for Jefferson Town City Hall. Duriff says the FBI alerted him, but he's not concerned. The fact that somebody just simply Googled me uh, is it, it, it wakes you up, but it's still nothing compared to the mother that has lost a child. That isn't even close to it. So the, the fear that you may say, why aren't you? Uh, it's not there because my concern is keeping the rest of the community safe. Prosecutors are trying to frame Brown as calculating and dangerous. The defense saying the activist, writer, and once star UofL student is battling mental illness. This online footprint may be used to bolster both sides of the case. The data also shows visits to Democratic candidates Tim Finley Jr. and Shamika Parrish Wright's campaign pages. Finley declined to comment for this story and our call to Parrish Wright has not yet been returned.